What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add steel columns. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in to this area here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a steel column here. So I'll go to the structure tab. And then on the structure panel, so I'm gonna select here the column. So I can click the column here. And then you can check the properties, what type of column that you are placing. As you can see here, so it's W wide flange column, W14 by 43. So if you click the type selector here, you'll be able to see the other columns that is loaded in this project. Now, if you don't have this family, so what you can do is, I'm going to select modify here to cancel the tool for the meantime. So if you want to add, so you just need to go to your insert and then look for load from library and then after that you can use load autodesk family so these are the families that is loaded to autodesk clouds so you can load from here like for example columns and then you can just select from here all right so i can select here like all results and then you can move the slider down and then to see the other categories here like structural columns so you can click that one and then again you'll be able to see here the columns that you needed okay so let me just cancel this now so let me let me just remove all these columns this is actually the columns that we are going to place but i'm going to show you how i did this one so it's very simple so i'm going to select this select all of this Okay, so I'm going to delete that one. All right, so let's place the column. So let's go to the structure tab and then let's select here the column. Let's use the default here. So as you can see here, you can modify the depth of the column that you will be placing. So currently the setting here is depth. Okay, so it will start from 01 entry level up to my current level, which is zero to floor okay so meaning to say my column will be from zero one entry level up to zero two floor that's the depth all right so let's do this one so i'm going to place it like uh manual so i'm just going to place it one by one so like for example on my b1.5 intersection i'm going to pick here and then uh, b1 0.75 intersection as well as on C 0.75 so that's it so now another way to do this is you can also use at grids okay so I'm gonna select at grids here and then I'm gonna zoom into this area here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select one of the one of the grid and then hold control select the other grids here like D.1 and then I'm going to select this grid 0.5 and then also this grid 0.75. As you can see, there's now the column, but these columns are just the preview. So what you need to do is you need to finish that first for you to be placed these columns properly. So just select finish and then after that, select modify. Okay. So if you want to see these columns in 3D view, of course, uh, you can click or you can select all the columns like click one of this column and then you can right click and then you can select here, select all instances, visible in view. So just click that one and then it will highlight all the columns that have the same category or type. So it's now highlighted and then you can select here, selection box, just click that one. And there you go. So these are now your columns. So you can select your modify. So I'm going to change the visual style to shaded view. So you can still modify this. You can click one of the column and then you can go to the properties and then you can modify from here. You can change the base level and then you can also add base offset, top level or top offset. You can even change the type here of the column. Okay, so let's say I want to change here the base offset. So I want to add the base offset of minus 2 feet. Okay, so I'm going to select this column, right click, 
and then I select here visible in view because I want to apply the changes in all of the structural column and then I'm going to change here the base offset like minus to fit that's it and then I'll just select apply and then there you go it's now adjusted okay so that's it for this simple exercise so let me just turn off the section box so I can see the whole model there you go okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day